Tonight, a local school district is hoping voters approve a question on the ballot next month that will allow them to build permanent classrooms for a special group of students. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto explains from Richmond with the South County Mobile Newsroom. The current school is made up of 26 portable trailers that are more than 15 years old. The lease for the trailers is expiring in May, so administrators say now is the perfect time to build a permanent facility. It does include a small child. About five dozen Cheraho students are part of the RISE School, which stands for Reaching Youth Through Support and Education. The school serves at-risk and disabled middle and high school students from Charlestown, Richmond, and Hopkinton. And this is where they learn. Our students who are using that facility don't have a gymnasium. Uh, there's not a cafeteria. There's, there are not science labs. But a proposal on Cheraho ballots could change this. It will provide uh, a building that is designed specifically for this program. So it will not look like a typical school. It will be uh, designed kind of in pods and will have a space for clinical services that are required by many of these students. The district would borrow no more than $6 million in bonds to build the new school. Superintendent Barry Ritchie says a new building will save taxpayers money in the long run compared to leasing trailers. We are very fortunate in Charo that we get a 61% reimbursement rate. So local taxpayers are only paying for 39% of the building and the state is paying for the rest. The proposal must pass in all three towns to be approved. In every way imaginable makes perfect sense, financially, educationally. So we're really optimistic that um, it will pass in all three towns. If approved, construction will likely begin by the end of spring 2017, and the new facility should be open by the 2018-2019 school year. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.